Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be taking a look at Haxorus and Venusaur as well as of course you already know safe swap Snorlax. I love to use that shiny. It was just one point off from being a Shundo. I couldn't believe it. So Haxorus in the lead with the Venusaur community day you already know and uh, we're just going to have a little fun here and see what we can do. So it was a good team. Venusaur is going to have a lot more leeway in this master premiere. I mean, as far as bringing one into the open master league, we've done it before. Very difficult, a lot of uh, different meta going on there with the dragon breaths and the steel types. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for it, but here it is going to have a lot of play for sure. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up and let's see what we have going on here. So it was a pretty good team combination here. Haxorus in the lead. So we got Snorlax and Venusaur in the back. If we run into, say, a Togekiss, Venusaur can beat the Togekiss. Snorlax can also beat the Togekiss. If they swap into a fighter, well, we can bring in the Venusaur and we'll have to maneuver around. Again, every single team is going to have some sort of a bad lead for them and some sort of a bad outcome. And nothing's going to be completely just proof to not be beat or countered in some sort of way. With that said, let's see what we have going on here. Snorlax putting in that work always and forever. And it is going to be equipped as my best buddy here. I could have put the Venusaur on, but I was thinking, and, all right, let's just go ahead and go with the Snorlax. And basically that would have made this Venusaur a 100% maxed out. It is a 14, 14, 14. So still looking good here. All right, taking them out. They're bringing in the Metagross, and we're going to be finishing this off with a Frenzy Plant. I know I had no health left, but Venusaur, that's not the only time it's going to be taking out Metagross like that. But next time, more health. So we're met with a Primarina. That's horrible for the lead. Swapping into the Snorlax, and now we're getting RPS, Rock, Paper, Scissors. They bring in a Conkeldor, but it's okay. We're not going to top left. We're going to see this through because it's not over yet. The way I'm thinking is, okay, Venusaur is going to be good up against two of their Pokemon. We have the Conkeldor and the Primarina. So I wonder what's in the back. We'll have to see here. So it's not over until it is over here. So we're going to shield that up, knowing we're going to be able to get to another Body Slab and forcing them to throw their energy here. And then we're going to be able to just farm them down. And we're going to be looking good here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Haxorus and farm them down. We know they're going to bring in the Togekiss, so we're going to immediately swap. Or I mean the Primarina. The charm user, right? And they have a hip out on in the back. What is that quick move that they're using? That looks like Fire Fang. Okay, so it's doing super effective. They're able to get to a charge move. Knowing the Primarina had gotten in a couple of charms and it takes a minute to get to the charge moves with charm, with the charge move that it does have. So we're good to be clear here to get to the second frenzy plan. So we got one and two, and this is going to be able to take them out. Well, I was hoping it was going to be enough to take them out. And it is, man, that's doing some massive damage there. Thank you, Venusaur. One of my favorites, especially in that shiny Nyx battle met with a Gyarados. Show me the waterfall and it has waterfall. They immediately swap into their Metagross and we're going to go ahead and stay here because Venusaur also has a good matchup up against it, especially if it has waterfall and Metagross is a counter to or, I mean, Haxorus is a counter to Metagross. So, I'm just going to stay here. They're probably like, ah, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so, taking out the Metagross at the expense of a shield. They still got two. They had a Togekiss. Don't think they misswapped. I think they calculated this. But this is perfectly fine. Our Haxorus has energy. Bringing in the Snorlax here. If they want to swap Snorlax's matchup up against the Gyarados is fine. We'll do our damage. And then, eventually, the Venusaur is going to make its way to the Togekiss and we're going to be able to take that win. We'll see what happens. They go for a flank that we're doing a lot of damage using their first shield, bringing in Gyarados and not able to farm us down. We're getting to a body slam, which I really needed this to happen because now, okay, perfect. We're going to swap into our Haxorus and immediately go for a combo breaker. And I'm talking a real combo breaker. We got one charge move, two, and then the third one back to back. And we're going to let them farm us down here. We're going <laughs> to... We're gonna let them, yeah, well, we have no choice. We're gonna go ahead and bring in our Venusaur. What do they have? Waterfall that can go for an Outrage. So we gotta be careful, they got Crunch. So I doubt that they're gonna have Crunch and uh, Outrage and we're farming them down and they back out. We take the win, Venusaur is able to find Whip down. We're looking good, next battle. What are we gonna see with our Haxorus? A Togekiss, perfect. All right, how are we gonna play? Like I said, we got two counters it's going into the Snorlax and they're gonna go ahead and swap into a Machamp. So, you know. Uh, Gonna go ahead and work around this but again like i said before the regular snorlax that's not shadow shadow is amazing but since we're not 
shadow. We're going to be able to take the damage a lot better here, and they're not shadow as well, so a lot more of a comfortable matchup here, kind of forcing the shields on their end. So we're definitely not going to shield up again, and they are... don't know if that was an under tap. Might have been, but... They're getting some good farm, bring it in Haxor, so we're not going to shield up again. We're going to have to rely on our Venusaur to kind of sweep up so we have, again, another two Pokemon that the Venusaur was going to be good up against. And this, there's that Togekiss, a Swampert in the folks. Venusaur is good up against this entire team, but it's not over yet. I mean, they could technically maybe pull this off if they get to a charge move flamethrower on the Togekiss because, I mean, maybe even charm me down at this point. I know. So we're going to farm up a little bit more. I'm just, you know, trying to be optimistic for their end here. Going for the Frenzy Plant. And do we get to the Sludge? Is Sludge going to even be enough? Folks, this is not going to be enough for the Venusaur only. Haxorus is going to have to go in here and start hacking away. All right, buddy. Put in that work. I know it's not very effective, but you're going to have to put in some. All right. Looking good. Okay. Oh, my goodness, folks. We got one shield left and no health. Going to go ahead and shield this up. Of course, it's probably going to be an Ancient Power. Please don't get the boost. And we Vine Whip down with that beautiful lag. It was going to be a tie. They did their charm damage. It just didn't register through visuals. So we take that win. They're looking good. Next battle, we're met with a Florges. Bad lead. Swapping into Snorlax. And they bring in a Gyarados with Waterfall. And I'm feeling good about this matchup, folks. Let's get it. And they're letting that go. Going to go ahead and feel up the situation. If they're going to let that go and let this one go... Then we'll go ahead and let theirs go. They're shielding it up. I think we're going to go ahead and shield up in return as well. We kind of want to win this matchup here and align our Pokemon with that Florges because, again, that thing always confuses me. Thinking Fairy Grass, right? It's just Fairy type. So po Poison, still going to be good up against it. They're swapping into their Metagross here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go for the Superpower and uh, just do as much damage as we can as well as lowering our defense so now they don't get as much farm but we are going to go ahead and get to another body slam i could have farmed up a little bit more and got to another superpower unfortunately i did it but we still get the shield which is perfect bring it in haxorus to do its little thing here well little thing I'd be littling it. Give me a break. This thing is amazing. Haxor is putting in that work. They get out their Meteor Mash. We swap into our Venusaur up against that Florges. Now we still need to look out for Psychic. That is going to be doing a lot of damage. And there it was. It didn't take me by surprise. We still are going to be resisting the quick move. So it's going to be okay. And our Sludge Bomb is really... It's doing a lot of damage. But <laughs> hoping for a little bit of a little bit more so I can farm down there. They go for a... A disarming voice we're gonna go for a frenzy plant here and it's all down to this can we get to the frenzy plant and we get to it to take out yet again another metagross with Venusaur folks putting in that work and sweeping up as you can see here the, a lot of the meta is actually gonna have a hard time up against Venusaur next battle we're met with another Gyarados here and it has waterfall this is gonna be a good matchup although when people run Waterfall, they probably tend to want to go with Outrage. So you may want to look out for that because obviously it's going to pretty much one-shot you. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and shield it up. They get me with the bait, Aqua Tail. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and go for another Dragon Claw here. It's going to be a little bit difficult for them to get to an Outrage at this point. So I know it's not going to be that. We're going to let it go. And another Aqua Tail, all right. So they got a shield out of me, which is fine. We Looks like we would have had to shield it up anyways. They swap into a Togekiss or bring that one in. We retreat immediately because the Haxor still has a good amount of health and HP if they have like say a Excadrill or a Metagross. So we're gonna keep it alive. They are staying in with the Togekiss, which is an indication that there's something in the back weak to or something that doesn't want to see Snorlax, something like that. Who knows what it is, we'll have to see. But all I know is I'm doing as much damage as I can to this Togekiss, and this is just perfect. And we're getting off another Body Slam. Pretty much almost taking them out. Bringing in the Venusaur to farm, but they swap, and they have a Magna Zone in the back. We're going to go ahead and go for that Frenzy Plant. And this is all not very effective damage, but it's all we can do here. So I don't want to swap in quite yet, because I don't want to catch a Charge Move. So I do believe right after this, we're going to want to swap. Oh, uh, we got locked in, unfortunately, so we're going to throw this damage and then swap into our Haxorus. And folks, this is looking like I got hit by a surprise flash cannon. Did you see that? I ah, almost top left. Are we going to be able to pull this off? Haxorus hacks down Togekiss. Are you kidding me? And we take that win. I swear I was going to lose that after that flash cannon. Next battle. 
Magnazone came back for some revenge. They immediately swap out into their Gyarados with Dragon Breath, and we bring in Venusaur systematically here. I was just thinking Steel-type, Grass-type. Let's just go ahead and go in here with this. Even though it has Dragon Breath, Venusaur is still going to have a good matchup, doing a ton of damage if they do that, let it go. They shield it up as well as us shielding up the Crunch, and we're getting to another Frenzy Plant. Do they double shield? And they do double shield. I don't think we're going to actually match them. Don't think it's worth it at this point. Okay, never mind. I guess we do. So looks like we want to win this matchup here because of what we saw in the beginning here. So keeping this Venusaur in the fight and they get to another stinking charge move. That is the worst. It is the worst. Just a slight miscalculation by literally one HP. So they have a Mammo Swine. All right. So, so far, this is a pretty clean cut battle here. Uh, they're going to get a good amount of farm there. So we're going to do our damage. Shieldless battle. Swapping into Snorlax. They bring in their Magnazone. And I don't go for superpower yet because I'm building up to two. I know they're waiting for me to throw, so they'll do more damage. And exactly. So I knew I was in a hard place. At, at, for a second, I thought I could maybe win when I saw that Mammal Swine, but not looking like we're going to be able to pull it off. This Mammal Swine farming up to two avalanches, so it's nice and ready to take out that Haxorus when we do throw it in. And exactly there you go. It was a good game. That was a clean battle. Let's go and cheers. All right, let's move on to our next opponent, folks. Haxorus in the lead the entire time. A Togekiss. Are you, are you kidding? All right, let's swap into our Snorlax and they bring in Excadrill. This is, do you see? This is why Snorlax is just such an amazing safe swap for, I, I want to say Great League so much, but I'm definitely going to say Ultra and Master League. Uh, very much so for the Master League. Uh, it's just very nice especially with this very condensed meta in the premiere here all right and you're not going to see too much fighting and if you do you can still put up a fight up against them as well all right so excadule we're getting two shields i was seeing a lot of this strategy where they double shield excadrill keep it alive and you know put it all on that swap there so sounds good to me we're going to put our hope in our venusaur they let it go well <laughs> They let it go. They they had no more shields. So they have a Gyarados back there. We got this Venusaur going for the Frenzy Plant. And at this point, we're going to be able to take out that Togekiss. But Vine Whip, not very effective. Sludge Bomb, not going to be able to do quite enough. And Charm, not exactly doing no damage to the Venusaur. So we're not completely safe. Going for another Frenzy Plant. Here goes the Togekiss. So let's see how much of this Sludge Bomb does to it. And we can go for a Frenzy Plant after this. All right. All right. Looking good. Can we get to it? Yes. Yeah, but this is <laughs> this is going to be a Ancient Power. And we swap into Haxorus. It's all up to you, buddy. Can we take him out with a Haxorus? Folks, look at this duo. Put it in that work. Haxorus said, oh, that's Fairy Boss? Oh, no problem. We, we trained for this. Yes, we did. Let's get it. Take it. <laughs> Let's go. Next battle, we're met with a Gyarados. Show me the... All right. The waterfall that's what i want to see so we're going to go ahead and go for dragon claw there's really no need to go for the night slash i mean you can if you want to try to gamble for the boost on the counter or doing more for your charge moves but let's just go ahead and keep going for this so they go for the crunch you get the defense down so they're doing more damage at this point going for another dragon claw and we're getting the first shield getting to another dragon claw putting on the pressure here this will ko if they let it go and they swap to catch on the Snorlax. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our own Snorlax here. And you can really tell that shiny from the regular once you see them kind of side by side there. It's a very subtle one. If you're not familiar with the shiny of the Snorlax, you probably would never even notice. But uh, there you go, if you didn't know. So let's put in some work here. Now, the Body Slam thing versus the Superpower. It's kind of up to you how you feel. But I wouldn't really recommend throwing the Superpower right away unless... You had a plan if you were able to swap immediately. So they do swap. They're bringing in their Excadrill. We're going to go ahead and throw this Superpower. Looking good and swap into our Haxorus. And just do as much damage as we can before they go for this drill run here. And it put in that work. They're going to go ahead and bring in our Snorlax to farm up. We refresh the, the stats that we did debuff with the Superpower. And let's see what they bring in. That Snorlax that does have energy. And what are we going to do? Shield this up? I think we're going to want to... Yeah... Hold on to that energy, getting to a superpower. And this is, I don't think this is going to be enough to take it out. And it barely survives. They swap into their Gyarados and Snorlax still holding on for dear life. And we're just going to hold on 
Let's get to let it go down here and bring in the Venusaur and have a little fun. And we're going to farm him down. We have no more shield, so we have no choice but to let this go. They hit us with a crunch. And I was going to try to farm, but I was like, holy crap. What am I doing? This thing has a little bit more health than I expected. So we're just going to go ahead and throw that Frenzy Plant there and take the win. Moving on to our next opponent here, folks. Let's see what we have. A Garchomp versus Haxor. Show me the butt shot. Yes. If we run into a Garchomp with Dragon Tail, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to tell you. I, I'm just going to top left. It's just too much of a hellish fight to get out of. Uh, I swap, like I hard countered, and that Dragon Tail is just, I'll tell you, that's the weakness. A Dragon Tail or a Dragonite lead for this team. It just spells doom for it. You can pull out of it, but uh, it's going to be one difficult uh, place to be. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, see them bring in their Metagross. We're going to go ahead and throw the Night Slash, put in that damage, put in that work. And we have no shields, by the way. We double shield it. Okay, so swapping into Snorlax to absorb this damage here comfortably and doing super effective with our like They got a Gyarados in the back. This is looking very good. This is looking very good here. Snorlax is going to be able to do plenty of damage with this Body Slam up against them. And we do have that fully healed Venusaur ready to go. Yes, there is a Metagross, but Frenzy Plant takes no prisoners. Even up against the Metagross, still going to be doing decent damage. Bring it in the Venusaur. No shields. Let's get it. Getting to that Frenzy Plant, but they're going to be able to win CMP. And hitting us with a Crunch. Waterfall not very effective. Defense fell. So we just lost our defense on our... <laughs> Venusaur is going to say Snorlax. So they swap into their Metagross. We go immediately into our Haxors for the Night Slash in this shieldless battle. They bring back their Gyarados, the only thing they have left. And for whatever reason, I go for Night Slash. I should have went for Dragon Claw here, but it doesn't really matter. And all of a sudden, it freezes. What's going on here, game? And we take the win. Looking good. All right, so we got a couple more battles here. What are we going to see? Show me a good lead for once. All right, at least Mudshot. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's go. All right, so we're going to go for our Dragon Claw right off the bat here they let it go doing plenty of damage and you can run Haxorus with dragon tail and this is a pokemon that we were talking about i mean it's not like oh you know we we were talking about it and you know <laughs> yeah we, we call that one uh but about an axu community day we, we all know it's going to be coming down the the pike soon it's just a matter of when they're going to release it but are they going to make it good for or better for pvp or are they going to give it a better move for PvE going up against Raids because it's already pretty good up you know, in PvP, right? Uh, they could make it better for sure, but uh, who knows, maybe they might give it two moves. It's definitely going to be something that they're going to want to do in the summertime. So who knows if we'll get it. So fun fact, the Haxorus regular color, the black and red, it's actually going to be all black. Kind of like that same color, but all over. Anyways, what's going on here with the floor? Just let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to shield this up. Let it go. It's a psychic, of course. No problem. Yep, yep, yep. A disarming voice would take us out now. Looks like we're trying to farm this thing all the way down. And what do they got that Metagross back there, right? They go for another psychic. Oh, and it's going to be a Excadrill. Was that Excadrill? Yes, it is. Frenzy Plant doing so much. Swapping into our Haxors. Going for the Night Slash. Combo Breaker. Getting a shield. Getting the attack boost. Farming them down, ooh, 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 wow. That was definitely a combo breaker for sure. Taking the win there. Moving on to our next battle here. We're met with the Mammoth Swine. Now, they, uh, I've been in this situation before when we used to use our, what was that, was that team that we did? It was a Calm Keldor, Haxorus, and Snorlax, Metagross, forgot exactly. It's a couple different ones that we did. But anyways, you're gonna have to shield this one up, otherwise it'll take you out. Now, so long as you don't miss any quick moves and the game doesn't lag, you'll be able to win that. Taking them out, they don't use a shield though, right? They use a shield and uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to. They bring in a Dragonite, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw, doing a lot of damage. And then swapping into Snorlax, I figured, eh, let's go ahead and just keep this thing alive. There might be something in the back that we're going to be good up against, maybe, who knows, a Excadrill or a Metagross. All right, so they, oh, there it is. There's that Metagross, so Venusaur, what it, can it do here? Well, it can still put in the work. It's not very effective, but we can still, well, at this point, the Dragonite, it doesn't even need a Frenzy Plan. It almost looks like it can just be farmed down by Vine Whip, which has like a massive resistance because of the Dragon and flying. So we got some lag going on here. Okay, what's going on? So they hit us with their Meteor Mash, and we still have one shield. Do believe we're gonna wanna shield this up. Yep, shielding that up. 
and going for the Night Slash here. Haxorus putting in that work. Such an awesome looking Pokemon. And getting the shield, they swap into Dragonite and they take us down. Venusaur, it's all up to you. The shiny Venusaur farming down the Dragonite like we said. And is Frenzy Plant going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? I think this is the end, folks. And we are going to Vine Whip down and take the win with that Venusaur. Let's go. Thank you for watching and take care. Got what it takes, Max.